Maple Leafs, maybe even taking over for Johnny when he retired at age 50 or 60. I first met Johnny when I was just 15 years of age, a year after my father had passed away. A great friend of Captain George Armstrong's, Jimmy Hines, brought my mother and I to my very first NHL game at the Gardens. We sat in the first row, right behind my idol, above the glass, and I thought we were going to be killed. <laughs> The Leafs were playing Bobby Hall and the Chicago Blackhawks. I wasn't wearing a mask either. <laughs> After the game, the Chief took me into the dressing room. I met Frank, Davey, Timmy, Carl, Alan, Red. I just wanted to meet one Leaf, my hero. When I finally did, I turned into Ralph Cramden of the Honeymooners. <laughs> <laughs> George told Johnny I was a goalie from Sudbury. I shook hands with him, and my hand was immediately buried in this enormous paw. He asked how my season was going. I think I said, good. I lied. Our goalie was terrible. <laughs> I dropped the pen and program I had ready for the autograph, and he graciously picked it up, and he painstakingly wrote, Johnny Bauer. Number I don't think I even congratulated him on the victory. I left the room as red-faced as a gold light. Mm -hmm. I put Johnny Bauer on a hero's pedestal that no mortal really could have lived up to. And then years later, while broadcasting for the Sudbury Walls and then the Toronto Maple Leafs, I met Johnny Bauer, the man, once more. I quickly realized I hadn't put him on a pedestal high enough. Johnny Bauer was easily the nicest, most generous, most humble man I've ever had the pleasure of meeting. He was so generous with his time and encouragement for a young broadcaster trying to make his way in the NHL, we quickly became friends. But I most certainly wasn't alone. Nancy Bauer, early on in their 69-year marriage, along with children John Jr., Cindy, and Barbara, learned that they would have to share Johnny Bauer. They would have to share him with his teammates, they would have to share him with the media, and most certainly they were going to have to share him with the fans. He always had time for an autograph, a story, a conversation, and lately when cell phones arrived for a photograph with the Hall of Fame goalie, and I swear that John Bauer in his later years became a chick magnet. <laughs> Every woman in Toronto has a picture of her and Johnny Bauer. <laughs> Young kids would rush to get his signature. Johnny Bauer, Johnny Bauer, H-H-O-F, 76. I have a millennial. I don't think he takes cursory writing. Mm -hmm. He could read John Bauer's autograph. They never got to see him play the youngsters, but their fathers and grandfathers had informed them that they were in the presence of greatness. We lost John Bauer in his 94th year last week. We will all cherish every memory he produced over that span, whether it was on or off the ice. His playing career made him a Hall of Famer, but it's what he has given back to this game, this organization, and certainly this city since that has made him a legend. It is only fitting that we say goodbye to Johnny today as a community one in which he gave so much back to over his years. You know, there may be only one Johnny Bauer Hall of Fame goalkeeper, but there are three Johnny Bowers. I would like to introduce to you the grandson of Johnny Bauer, John Bauer III, who will represent the family.